Hello everyone and welcome to another video from the Traders Terminal. This is Jordan and today we're going to check out Aussie Kiwi, uh, which is a setup that was brought up by FX Delta software. This is basically what you're looking at on your screen at the moment. So let me show you how I go through uh, the analysis once I get the signal. Try to keep it as simple as possible, okay? and stick with the facts. So the very first thing is, of course, we got a signal. This is the four hour chart. Does the four hour chart has the momentum there? Um, yeah, it does. Do we have ending divergence? No, we don't, right? The, the ending divergence is basically the divergence on the MAs. In this case, it's simply not there. Then I can see that upon the move up, the histogram on MACD also started providing hidden divergence. This is something that is suggesting continuation lower, at least as long as the previous high is not reached. All right. So those are very basic, simple things. And at this stage, at least they fit. The next thing that I'm going to do is, of course, check out four levels. And the very first level that pops out is the one right here. This is the very last zone where the price managed to push lower. This is after the breakout. It stops right there. This at the moment of the breakout, right, is your supportive zone. Consolidation, trying to figure out whether it's going to go up or down. And then you have more sellers pushing the price lower, breaking here. And now this is turning into a resistance zone. All right, so it definitely makes sense to look for opportunities right there in this level because just like the software is suggesting and everything else overall, um, we want to see the price basically holding here and whether it's going to be ABC like this or single leg and then continuation lower, that zone better hold, right? If this zone is broken up, then I'm not really convinced I want to be selling anymore because now I have this massive level right before the price. So let's say I get the signal here to sell. Then what happens? You're selling right into the support, right? Which doesn't really make a lot of sense. We want to be selling right into the resistance. We want to be buying right into the support, right? This is the optimal that we can get from the market. So we have the level, um, we have the readings from the indicators, pretty much all looks good. At this stage, we all need to, only need to see the reversal, which is going to be delivered by the software. Once that happens, I ready to pull the trigger, of course, I'm looking closely at the levels, right? I can go one step further and go ahead and mark the levels manually. All right, just to pinpoint a few more zones there. And in my opinion, it will look something like that. All right, so this is your entire zone. Um, capturing here the absolute lows from this previous consolidation, right? Capturing those two. But in general, this is the optimal level where we want to be selling. So basically something like that. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to take it one step further, of course, you can go to the higher time frames, check what's happening there. And in my opinion, the higher time frames are definitely agreeing with the direction. You have the long-term trend, trend broken down. This is a momentum move. Then you have this wedge structure that was just recently broken all right and this is what we see on the lower time frame so basically pull back continuation and my assumption is for something like that okay if this turns out to be larger abc again we don't want to be dealing with it for sales if the price is going to move higher right this is why we have the software, first of all, invalidating the setup pretty quickly, which is going to be right there. Or you can invalidate it yourself manually without, without using the software. Okay. 
But the idea is to get the logic here, not just blindly follow some um, programmatically written steps. Does it make sense or it doesn't, right? Always ask yourself this question, not just with this software, with any other software or any other automated solution. Make sure you understand completely what's happening behind the scenes. That's why this software has the third party verified uh, performance for over a year. That's why it's completely, well, not open source, but the idea is open source and publicly available and everyone can see how it works and it can use it without paying for the software, all right? So that's it, yeah, I mean, again, if you have some uh, knowledge about price action, et cetera, just apply it there to make things even more robust. But even if you're trading just based on the software and uh, the way it works here based on the rules, it's more than enough to look at the four hour chart. And at least for me, this is definitely a tradable situation here. Okay. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.